Naruto is an anime full of references and curious moments, but there are some things that go unnoticed when we watch it, and Easter eggs usually go unnoticed for most. So in today's video, we'll get to know the biggest Easter eggs in Naruto that you didn't notice. Naruto is a work full of references to other works and mythologies. Kishimoto loves to take references, but sometimes he leaves some clear references for the public to notice, but many end up not realizing. These references are the Easter eggs. Goron. The first Easter egg takes place after the fourth Great Ninja War, and after Sasuke and Naruto's final fight, where every nothing more or less returns to normal. Then there is a crowd wanting to enter Kanola to participate in an interview of Naruto, and look who is in the middle of this crowd, Jiren, that Kunoichi of the Village of South that appeared in the first episodes. For those who don't remember, Jiren is that woman with the crystal style Kekai Genkai. One Piece Homage. Now this Easter egg is very interesting, and it happens in the manga in the last chapters of Naruto, where it takes place at the same time as Boruto's story. And by this time, Naruto has already become Hokage. So Naruto's little son decides to do some mischief and paints Naruto's face. Look how interesting. In the painting, Boruto made a pirate skull, better saying the skull of the Straw Hats from One Piece. And that was Kishimoto's homage to One Piece, because the authors of the two works are friends. Kirin. Now this other Easter egg is very interesting. It's a reference to another anime too. Well, in a Rock Lee's memory, he is in his childhood, and there are several other children bothering him, saying that he can't use ninjutsu. And guess who is in the middle of these children? Kirin from Dragon Ball. It's not really Kirin, but the little guy looks a lot like him, except for the nose because Kirin doesn't have a nose. Chaos. And for those who thought that the references to other works were over, here comes another one. It seems that Kishimoto loves Dragon Ball because here comes another Dragon Ball Easter egg. But this one happened in the manga, more specifically in Naruto Classic when Naruto and Jiraiya are on a trip. Then Naruto enters a stall and buys a mask. Among the other masks, there is a mask of chaos from Dragon Ball. Look at Dragon Ball appearing again. But tell the truth, Naruto should have chosen the chaos mask. This is a clear nod to another beloved anime series, showing Kishimoto's appreciation for Dragon Ball. 